All right, let's continue. Um, I took off my hoodie um, because uh, we're gonna do drift, and I think it's mo way more intense than the previous one because I think the concept is that you are a bullet in air and you are steering yourself to hit the target. I think that's the concept. I'm not even sure, but. Uh, uh, I expect it to be way more intensive than the previous one. Ooh, unity. Okay. I think it's like sim. I guess the concept and like the R type would be similar to the super hot. I'm not even sure. Like I, <laughs> I'm always speculating because I'm not even doing research. I'm just like blindly jumping into the game to just have my fresh impression. You know. I think that's that's a uh, good. Uh, way to play games overall, even. I mean, the hype is fine and all, but... Oh. Holy shit! Wait, wait. Oh, it's just the... The... Okay. Okay, that was a good introduction. <laughs> so then... So tired of the slam. It's a little bit loud for me, so... We'll lower that. It seems like there's no controller option too. I think it's just that you are staying with your head too. Okay. Fails success rate. Hard time. Uh huh. Okay. Let's just go into it. Thank you. I don't know. So we have 15, uh, 15 levels. Calibration. Um, is someone here? What, what are you saying? I, I, I must read the manual. <laughs> Which manual? Oh, okay. Hello, you. Welcome to Drift, the first virtual reality training program by Dr. William Kwong. What? This training program will increase all your skills to make you perfect. It will give you the ability to survive all kinds of threats. <coughs> Terrorists, zombies, sexual offenders, oh. or hipsters. <laughs> Are you ready to change? To be better? To be perfect? So get ready for the first step of perfection. Moving forward. Rotate your head to orient your path. Okay. Avoid obstacles and hit the target. And by the way, my name is Walter, and I'm your artificially intelligent coach. Great. Tap once on the gear view or touchpad to stop. I didn't have that. <laughs> oh no, it's just trigger, okay. Okay. So that was the first level? Okay, yeah. Good job! Well, honestly, that part was kind of easy. I mean, I read here that a squirrel did it once. It was a trained squirrel, but don't be too proud. Except if you're a squirrel. In this case, well done. Anyway, did you notice this man on your right? Sorry, left, 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 I'm... Ah! Shit. How much time will it take this guy to cut your head off like a little pumpkin? Not very much, I think. So let's prepare for step two. Enter the slow motion phase to find and hit your target. Because controlling time is the next step of perfection. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's actually level setting, right? Yeah. Keep your finger on the gear touch to enter slow motion mode. Ah, oh. oh, okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Why am I moving? It's just my head. Huh? Okay. Ah. 
Bro. <laughs> Can I? Oh shit. Can I like? Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Fuck. I will need to spin because I can't like move with my joystick. Mr. Squirrel. Oh, you're still here. Okay. Perfect. I was worried about you. The manual says that you're entering what they call the real deal. Let's put a dramatic light on. Don't touch me. Do you feel the danger? Of course you do. So get ready for the next step of perfection. Feeling the danger. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ow. <laughs> okay, I get it, but I can't stand in one place, I will just need to move. Like, I mean, spin or whatever. should hit the yeah this one I was already doing that I mean right should oh, yeah my target is blue there okay whoa that's gonna take a while <laughs> In the manual, Mr. Kwong recommended that we try some experiments to stimulate the subject. Well, let me stimulate you. No. Choose a door you like and look at it. Um. No. <laughs> okay. Interesting. In a dangerous situation, your survival depends on the choices you make. Well, Mr. Squirrel? Prepare for the next step of perfection, making choices. <laughs> okay. Making choices. Is it a bird? Come on. Jesus 
Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, I can't go up. Oops, okay, well. <laughs> kind of, you know. I know it's here. That's enough I will uh, do with this game. It's, it's really specific, like it's not, it's really not for everyone, really. Like, uh, I think I'm kind of handicapped because I could like, you know, I can't really like walk on my bed or like, you know, I can't turn, but it's not really something sudden. See, like I'm in, in the air basically. Uh, so, what to say about it? It seems the concept is really cool, actually. Like the concept uh, is unique. Like I would, I didn't see in any app. Like you know, you are a bullet ever steering yourself in the you know environment. Uh, so it's cool to like travel through the environment. The fact it's uh, hard to. I feel like it's way too hard for for starters like it was fourth level or maybe i was missing something but it's like you really need to look 
everywhere and like the slow motion just lasts a few seconds so that's it and then you're just like fucking flowing around so you know it's i think it's for someone that is like really um <laughs> like the endurance i think and the locomotion if you are like high in endurance of that i think it's it's fine uh I, but it's there's <laughs> There needs to be a lot of work to put into this game, I mean, from a player, <laughs> from a developer, sure, uh, but you need to spend time with it, which we don't have now. <laughs> um, it's not for me, it's just not for me. The game seems cool and all, but it's just not for me, and uh, I, I'm more drawn towards other game styles rather than... This, this one. But it still seems uh, a pretty cool game. So, I'm not, I want to uh, like say it's t completely shit. It's just that it, I'm not drawn towards that. It's not interesting for me. The concept does seem fine on the video, but uh, like being in the game is kind of like, okay, well, I get it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll move on. <laughs> And uh, uh, let's go for something else. 